Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And we are back here doing some more Mythic Plus action for Season 4 of Shadowlands Mythic Plus. And today I have the highest key that we've ever timed or even attempted here on the channel for this season, which is a plus 21 Tazvesh Streets of Wonder. And I do apologize for not posting too much, or really at all, outside of some of my streams. These last couple of weeks, I've had a lot of stuff going on IRL, including a trip to Chicago. But we are back here and ready to push some keys on our Marksman Hunter. And then as for my build in this video, my item level is 287 and my weapon is actually 304. So the vault was very kind to me on the second week of Mythic Plus. And I'm still, of course, playing my Necrolord Marksman Hunter and I'm soulbound with Bonesmith Air Mirror. And my conduits are going to be pretty much set in stone for the remainder of this expansion. So it's going to be Sharpshooter's Focus and Deadly Chain for my potency conduits. And the three endurance conduits I'm using are Condensed Atmosphere, Marksman's Advantage, and Resilience of the Hunter. My legendaries are also the same, so on my wrist my unblinking vigil and on my belt i have unity and then the trinkets have switched significantly since last year so that means i am running with the decanter of endless howling the heroic version the 291 from uh, raid and then also i am running with the adrenaline injector the on use two minute mastery trinket and let me tell you that is really helping my damage pretty significantly now, i do have my four set in this video so that means that all of my trick shots do 30 percent increased damage and then every time i spend 40 focus it gives me one charge of trick shots and then, just like for Season 3, uh, be sure and check out my Discord. There's a link down in the description of the video below. And then you guys can get my weak aura that I use to track the focus spent for your 4 set. It is a game changer and it will significantly increase your damage. So I would encourage you guys to go check that out. And then as for talents, it's pretty much the same as well. So I'm running with Careful Aim, then Streamline, Post Haste, Double Tap, and Volley to round out my build. If you guys have any other questions about my build, which would include what my stats are, for example, all that information is always found in the description of the video, and there's also links to various guides that I would encourage you guys to check out as well, including my updated Season 4 guide for your Marksman Hunter, and I still have my 9.2.5 guides for every covenant if you want to get a little bit more in-depth information. And as for the key itself, like I said earlier, it's a timed plus 21 Tazavesh Streets of Wonder. And the affixes are tyrannical, bolstering, explosive, and shrouded for the season 4 affix. And we are running with the usual suspects here in this run. So Teach is tanking for us on his Prop Paladin. Frosty is once again back healing on his Resto Shaman. We have Degasser on Feralock doing all of the big Demo Warlock damage. And then we have a new friendo to the channel, which is Padding, playing a Kyrian Survival Hunter. And let me tell you, they were absolutely uh, destroying the DPS charts. And then... This is really a standard run for this group at this point. We have done this most of all of last season. We had pushed, I think, our highest was 23 last season. We're already seeing 20s and 21s this season. And this was not necessarily an amazing week for us. So that just means we can only go up from here. Uh, it's pretty standard, meaning uh, we go after the first boss. We run past the two core hounds. We don't pull them. Uh, Spoiler alert, unfortunately, uh, we did pull them later on. I think I actually cut that bit out as well because we did wipe on the Menagerie boss. So unfortunately, one of the few things that I have to do as a Marksman Hunter is use my Misdirect Whenever the first boss reaches 40%, the next one starts to come down. Cool. Well, unfortunately, I had mistimed my misdirect just a bit. I think I was like literally like two seconds off. Uh, so the buff had fallen off. So that means the third boss comes down, the goblin that's empowered. She kind of ran amok, took out one of our damage, and then uh, Teach ended up taking a, a golem punch to the back, which is a pretty much one-hit KO. And unfortunately, that's how uh, that's how it works, particularly on Tyrannical when you're above a, a 20, for example. But the group came together, we made up for that, and we ended up beating the timer by about uh, 3%, which is a little bit more than a minute left on the timer. We had to be really precise with uh, our movements throughout the key after that wipe. So what we decided to do, we normally go uh, Grievous first, then we go Menagerie. So we went ahead and did the Postmaster, since we had Lust, then we went over and then bopped the Menagerie, then we went over and finished off with Miza's 
uh, band, if you will, then on up to So As Me. And then the, one of the things that I need to get better at in this particular run is going to be the Mises Oasis encounter. Uh, so it's a joke. I do not like to go when the boss sucks you in and you have to and use your instrument to go out. I am terrible at that. And I will be the first one to admit that I'm terrible. So I tend to just stay away. I'm going to be trying to do a better job each and every time we come into these keys and making sure I keep that buff, get that haste buff, because it's only going to help my damage and it's only going to help us push these keys faster. And if we want to do, uh, you know, the 22s, 23s, 24s of the world, I'm going to have to make sure and do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Please leave me your feedback. Uh, I know there are places, a lot of places, in fact, I could have done even better. Uh, for example, even on Postmaster, I ended up dying because I was trying to jump, run in there and grab one of the uh, flaming packages. That's on me. Probably should have used a cooldown before I went in there. And I also was not sure if I could uh, disengage with the package. I've never actually tried that. So instead of it automatically blowing up or dropping, I went ahead and took my death. Wasn't a wipe and we timed the key, but I did learn something and that's really my goal each and every time I come into a key. So leave me your feedback. Let me know what are some things that I can do better. How are you guys doing in Mythic Plus? I would love to hear that. And be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube. I finally went over 5,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. And consider following me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Eggplant. I'm gonna be starting some new streams here in the next uh, week or so. I encourage you guys to come hang out and I'll see you in the next run. Eventually, the horde of imps will turn and <laughs> hit that fucking cell. I think I know how to turn his shield off now. I was wondering, I, I'm like, is it going down like that normally? So I think if you're inside the shield and you hit him on, like, the direction it's facing, I think it turns it off. Interesting. That's what I've been doing this whole time, and it just turns it off eventually. That's good, to, good info to know. Skip the dogs. Do not go down the stairs. I'm gonna pull that dire horn in one thing, and then I'll pull all the uh, cats with the other infiltrators. Okay. Oh, I'm coming. You damn right, you coming. <laughs> Boss is gonna make sure of that.
together. Everybody's on the mount. All right, let's go. Like I said, just stop at, like midway down the stairs. Don't go all the way down them. Yeah, just chill out right here. Just watch out for the sleepy puddle. Shockwave. Under the dire horn. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't really matter too much, just don't wanna. want to go down the stairs and pull the the cats looks like they've kind of padded away from the bottom of the stairs so you can go Shut down a way. little bit if you need to and you can also come up a little bit if you need to Shockwave. Postmaster will be kind of the same. I'm not going to go like super ham into Postmaster. We're just going to pull that one like one at a time. I'm going to go get the infiltrator off on the side and we're going to go into the boss room. Into the boss room and line of sight. These shockwave. Shockwave. Yeah. My demon's literally not attacking. Same. I mean, it's not a demon, but my pet's just it's broken. He's just stuck. He's he won't move. Hey, you see my wolf? What the fuck? I see. I see all your small demons. I don't see your your fell guard though. He's standing on the other side of the fucking thing. Oh my gosh, I'm stunned. What the hell? Solid game. Never done that before whenever I've wedged myself in this, right? I've never had my pets bug out there, but since this season, the pets have been fucking horrible. I don't know. I'm gonna just go activate the uh, RP for the next area real quick. I'm just gonna pull them in here. We're not gonna fight out there because I'm only doing one at a time. Please. 
shockwave. If you have some kind of knockback, try to get the male mental a little toward the middle of the room. Yeah, I really should be able to knock it. I'm gonna knock it towards the end. Yeah, towards the boss. I mean, like later on or now. Uh, whenever, because I'll just banish it once it's there. Unbanishing. Lost. Yeah, give me a sec. Get this male mental first, please. Absolutely. You guys grab him and just chuck him toward me, I'll throw him in. Take it off? Okay. Alright, uh, if you guys have your cooldowns and pop them, we might be able to kill this before we have to do these. I just popped the big uh, tyrant. I was gonna say, I'm gonna start them just in case. He's gonna grab like that first We're one. Good. because of it. So, that's my bad. I'll get them. It happens. There's usually a a sound cue or a, a spot in the voice line that I always use in the law. As soon as she says, like, blood and all realms will drown in blood that's whenever you want to do it 
I use it when she said the word realms, and it, that is one second. I need to wait just a second longer. Yeah, that's why I said, like, as soon as she says blood, that's whenever you want to do it. I think I have him angled a little weird just because of how that thing ended up, but it should be okay. Uh, stay in padding. Okay. now. Hmm. Wanna stop podding on me, bro? Nah. I don't, I don't think we have time. time. Same thing as yesterday. Just get on my back and me and you were gonna run that gauntlet. not gonna pick up those extra dreadlords at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, we're, we're gonna be able I, to I don't think we timed this either way. Uh, we can. We actually can. We just have to, like, yeah, run this gauntlet like, super fucking fast. Alright, go. Just be careful, because I'm not gonna be tanking. Go, go, go. Room. Yeah, 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 we're not, we're not gonna do it anymore.
Lost on pole. Three minutes and ten seconds. Damn. Active in ten. Uh, no, now ten. triangle Sucked. Oh, your tyrant's fucking stuck. Yep. That sucks. Fuck. I'm, I need to stop pressing Avenger Shield. We're not moving. We're just gonna go down this lane. She won't reset, will she? No. Even if she does, we can live. Oh my god. See? Told you. Oh, let's go. Nice job. 22 junkyard.